Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your video for this week. Special one again this week, we have a modal solids release for you. We have 12 colours. We have 200 GSM modal and 250 GSM modals. I think there's seven 200 GSMs and there are five 250 GSMs. Now, all of these will be um, available for a slightly cheaper price today, just for their release day, the 16th of October. Um, and because we already have quite a few of these in stock, they will all be reduced as well. So do jump on that. There's actually going to have to be a price increase on this modal pretty soon because um, the cost is getting high to purchase this stuff in. So it's going to have to come through. So it's going to go up 50 cents to a dollar um, probably in the next month or so. So if there's any you like, it's a great time to grab them because they will be that little bit cheaper again. Okay. Now let's have a look at what we have here today. So two different weights, 200 and 250. Both weights are great for summer. Um, one's obviously a bit heavier um, and then gives it a bit more of um, a bit more drape to it, um, a slightly nicer feel because of that weight. It's not so heavy that it's uncomfortable, um, but it just feels really nice to wear. They're both lovely. I'm wearing a 200 GSM. Um, which I love for summer, but if it was this color and if it was in 250, I would have used that in 250 as well. They're both really great. Um, it might just come down to the color that you like the best. I do think the 250 can look slightly dressier um, with that extra weight and the way that it falls that little bit um, differently, uh, but they can both look amazing. So let's show you the colors that we have and I will show you this color and the stretch and everything on this one first so that you can see. So this one is Fuchsia Fedora. Um, I've made an Every Me tank by Pat Emporium, V-neck, um, and I actually made it specifically for this ready to wear skirt that I bought a little while ago. So I bought this skirt thinking, oh, that's really cute. I have nothing to wear with it, but that's okay. Excuse me, I'll just move that out of the way. It's all right, I sew, I can make something. And here is the color and this sort of a tank top with this sort of skirt for summer, perfect. I'll be really comfortable in this. So it's lovely and drapey, it's really gorgeous to wear. And this is the sort of fabric that feels really cool just to touch it. You pick it up and think, oh yeah, that's what I need to wear on this day in the high 30s, early 40s it's going to be really nice. So let me show you the stretch and everything on this one. So let me get that right. All right, so it's got really nice horizontal stretch. Now I know when I stretch it, it looks a little bit see-through. You can see that it's not see-through on me. However, I did have to change to a nude colored bra because when I had a black bra on, you could faintly see that darkness underneath. So um, while it's not see-through, I did purposely change to a nude colored bra for this particular top. Okay, now what else do I need to tell you about this one? Not much really. The front and the back are quite hard to distinguish. Um, so you know when you purchase it that the selvage which is this finished edge on the side. So not the cut edge, but the finished edge. That's the front. The selvage rolls to the back. Okay, so before you've cut it, you know which is the front and the back. So perhaps just use some chalk. Um, and I would recommend doing it on the wrong side, just putting a little cross on the wrong side of your pattern piece so that you know that that is the wrong side. It does not matter if you end up sewing the wrong side as your right side. As I said, they are so close that it can be really hard to tell once a pattern piece is cut. Therefore, it doesn't matter, but you do need to be consistent. You don't want to have, you know, all of your garment being the wrong side of the fabric and then one sleeve is the right side of the fabric because you will notice that um, as you're wearing it, you know, as you're as you're moving throughout the day, as the fabric is upright, as it's vertical, you will notice if that is wrong. So it doesn't matter if you use the wrong side or the right side, so long as it's the same the whole way through. Okay, now I'm pretty low on coordinating threads this week, but I do have one for this and it's one four 
17. Okay, next colour, Pink Lemonade. I'm not going to pull them all out because um, you've seen it now. You've seen how it moves and it's stretched. So it's really about the colours now. And this is kind of a corally pink and you can see how different it is from this pink. So this one, Pink Lemonade. No coordinating threads, I'm sorry. And Winter Moss, beautiful olive. I love it. It's quite a rich olive. I do have a thread, 1623 for this one. It's really cute. Okay, next, Folkstone Grey. Now, this is a very blue grey. Although we've called it Folkstone Grey, there is quite a lot of blue in this, and that's coming up pretty accurately on my screen here. It's a lovely colour. I really like it, but it's not a pure grey. No matching thread for that one. This one is called Waterfall. Sorry, this is a very messy fold. Let's get that. Sorry about that. There we go. It's still messy, but it's slightly better. And wrinkled. All right, Waterfall. I showed you up nice and close so you can actually see the look of that. And that looks like it's got a slight sheen there. I don't feel like this is particularly shiny to wear. Um, but you know what? That's because that's the wrong side of the fabric. Here's the right side. Very wrinkled. But that there is the right side. Waterfall. No matching thread. Now this one... Is radiant orchid no matching thread but a real pinky purple and this next one is actually very similar so I will hold them up together this is purple orchid also I think a pinky purple so radiant orchid purple orchid very, very similar. I didn't name these ones, but I think that they're possibly a little bit too close in name and colour altogether, but you can see the difference in them there. Okay, that is it for the 200 GSM modals. So let me show you a 250 GSM modal. This first colour is called Holly Berry. Now, when you just touch a piece of the fabric like this you know you're just trying to work out what the fabric feels like you actually can't really feel a huge amount of difference between the 200 and the 250 but when you hold a piece of fabric and these are all one meter cuts you can definitely feel the difference in weight and this maybe it's because it was buried deep in the pile i'm not too sure but it is so cool to the touch right now really really cool Okay, so same thing with the front and the back. They're very similar. Take note of which way the selvage rolls. Now, um, this one, as well as the 200, but probably more so with this one, because it's a modal, it can still grow on you during the day. Probably not as much as the bamboo and rayon spandex will, but there is still going to be some growth just because of the fibre um, that it is. So I would highly recommend um, clear elastic in horizontal seams to keep it nice and stable. A top or a t-shirt should be fine. I haven't put anything in here because it's pretty light, this particular top, although it's 200. Um, I don't know if you remember the dress I wore last week, which was the Dream On dress by Patton Emporium. I have actually made that in a 250 GSM modal um, and it is, it's worked really well because I actually use the elastic gathering method. So that gives it some strength in the horizontal seams. And that is a lot of fabric. So it can work to sew yourself an item with some weight in it. So that has a lot of fabric and therefore the weight. But you do need to take some precautions. Namely, something like clear elastic to stabilise those seams. This feels really, really beautiful. So it's got some nice stretch there and lots vertically too and look at that gorgeous drape it's really really lovely no matching thread for this one 
and this is holly berry this color it's gorgeous okay now this one first bloom and next one armandine now this is flawed now i was there when we first unrolled this fabric um and now i cannot remember what the floor is and nor can i see it so i will ensure that there are full details of the floor on the website um, and the price will be permanently reduced on this one because of what the floor is. Uh, do you know what? I bet it's those horizontal lines. Can you see those? I'm sure you can see those if I can see them. Those lines going across. I think it must be that because now I can see it. So it will be reduced to allow for that floor, of course. Um, so whether you would choose this to make um, a muslin to see if a pattern is going to work for you in this fabric um, or there's actually you know if you work it right that could become part of the texture or the print of your fabric as well uh, no coordinating thread with this one now we have a lovely navy in the 250 this is called pageant blue it's a really pretty one. We do have a navy in the 200 as well, but it's quite a light navy. I love a rich, deep navy like this. It's really pretty. Uh, three triple five is the thread that I put with this one. And then the last one that I have is actually a restock. So we've had this color before and it's all gone. I think we've had it a couple of times. This is Niagara blue in the 250. It's really pretty again, this color blue. And I do have a coordinating thread for this one, and it is 392. Okay, so as I said at the start, all of these are a little bit cheaper just for today um, because we are having a solids release, and that's what we do. We can't just pick one color for a Lush Sunday special, so we make them all a little bit cheaper. Um, and as well as that, also all of our in stock 200 and 250 GSM modals are also reduced to the same prices. Uh, we have our competitions um, on YouTube and in our Facebook group. So please do um, enter those. And I will be back next week with some more fabrics. I really hope that you like these ones. If you haven't tried modal, please do. It is gorgeous um, for our weather here in Australia especially now that it's starting to get a bit warmer. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.